All right, guys, I'm back. And you know how last episode, before the game crashed, that is, we were looking for either like a Spinosaurus, a Baryonyx, something like that, some sort of land carnivore that we could tame to actually, you know, other than just being a really good, powerful land carnivore, but something to kill all the heckin' fish and get rid of the heckin' lag in those lakes over there, the laggy lakes. Maybe we we found our next heckin' tame here. Uh, well, that seven level seven and twenty eight mana garbage, that'd be a fantastic team as well. But something that'd be a little bit easier, at least at this part of the heckin' uh, playthrough, right there. If I can, if it doesn't fall off the heckin' cliff, I get the thing anger on me. Come here! Oh my gosh, this level five! No, oh my gosh, and it falls off the cliff. You kidding me? That thing is good as dead. What's with that RG? Fabled RG. That's what that is. Oh, and it killed the heckin'. Okay, well there goes that, right? <laughs> there goes that plan. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, we are in a really good area here, but uh, yeah, forget about the Spinos, forget about the Baryonyxes and stuff. There's a snow area relatively close to our base. We might as well try and tame something hardcore like a Utyrannus. Now, it doesn't need to be level like a billion or anything like that. It, of course, it'd be really good if it was a really good, uh, like level 800 or something like that. Like, heckin' Alpha Manigarma right there, you kidding me, jeez. But, uh, I'd love to tame a Manigarma, right? Oh, gosh. Alpha Defense Unit. I'd love to tame a Manigarma. But I feel like it'd be like basically impossible at this part of the heckin' series. What in the world are those? Apex u turn says, yeah, forget about that. Jeez. <laughs> but I, I feel like at least right now it's gonna be a little bit easier for us to tame an uh, u turn ants. I know it sounds kinda weird. Oh yeah, it's gonna be easy to tame a u turn ants. But then again, remember we have really, really good uh oh, there's a lake, a laggy lake down there. <laughs> so we're getting oh gosh, another heckin' make it this over there. Same thing over here. Hardcore lag. Uh, oh yeah, we have level ups and stuff. Uh, three more levels. Let's get ourselves some, uh, there you go, some some melee damage, just because why not? Just so we can, I can attack things a little bit better and kill them a little bit faster. But I do want to find another Utaranus. Doesn't, doesn't really matter what level it is. I'm going to be a little bit lenient on what level it is. You know, maybe like 300, 400 and up. <laughs> oh, look at me being super duper greedy. But nowadays, level 300 and 400 and stuff like that seems relatively low, you know? So, yeah, maybe if I could find another Utaranus. Because that one, that one I was showing you guys was like level 500 something, so. It was a pretty good heckin' level, but unfortunately it heckin' died, but, uh, do you- Oh, man, level 500, uh, hmm, if we kill- Oh, gosh, is that- is it- is about to attack me? But if we can- if we can knock out that man and armor, like, it'd be a really good team, but it's just the process of knocking out- Like, look at that, it's so, like, evasive. It's just gonna come- oh, 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 it's gonna come over here? What's it doing? I just need to hit, like, oh, it's still attacking the polar bear. One, two, oh, oh, polar bear. Polar bear is going to get knocked out. There we go. Polar bear is knocked out. And it's dead. Where did the man and go? Is that it right there? Low 504 it is. Let's go chase it. Let's go pursue it. Should we try and get it? Forget about the Utah Ransom. Just get the man Uh, oh gosh. Celestial Wyvern 1.7 million. Oh man. Utah Ransom over there too. Man. What's with that dumb... Ah, man. Look at that heckin' Celestial. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, man. Forget about that. It's coming, like, right for us. Oh, forget about that, Ada. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. We had some good progress. Oh, man. You speak it. Oh, no. Okay. Another level 504 you turn ants right there. What about that RG? Level 140. Okay. We should be able to take care of that, you guys. Let's, uh... Let's let the let's let's let the U-turn ants take care of the RG. Take care of the Enforcer. All that kind of stuff. Let me make sure you're set to passive. There you go. And then let's see if we can, uh... Oh, man. What, what do we have loaded into it right now? Which one? Uh, that's the wrong... Oh, oh. Oh, gosh, another... Wait, level 840? Uh, RG right there? Golly! Levels 400-something man of armor, though. But I'm, I'm mainly focusing... Oh, gosh, there's two of them, though. That's not picking up on the spyglass, unfortunately. A little bit too far away. Oh, gosh, one of them... Oh, one of them literally just landed on top of us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Knock that bad boy out. Get over here, trash. Golly, we got one hit on it. It's going to land, like, on top of us again. Oh, yep. Yep, of course it is. And it's knocked out. Level 476. All right. Okay. That, that, that you turn is over there still, uh, attacking something. I want to kill whatever it's trying to kill. It's killing some sort of... Okay, well, it just knocked off the mountain, basically, so it's out of the question. So, we might have this in the bag, you guys. All I have to do now is just kill this RG, get it out of the question, make sure it does not attack our Manic Armor. And we might have this level 400 something tamed. I don't know how much- I have some prime meat. I've killed some critters here. But I don't know how much this is requiring to tame. 23 ton, uh, prime meat to tame it. Torpidity's basically not dropping at all. We have 26! Whoa, that's good! That's good, and we have the tame- Oh, we may have this thing tamed, you guys. Level 476. This is gonna be a really good heckin' critter, you guys. Uh, I probably should've put the food in there. We have 30 prime meat in total. <gasps> we have enough! We only need 23 and we have 30. And we have the heckin' tame helper things. Don't mind if I heckin' do, you guys. Oh my gosh! Now, 
Do we have the saddle for- Oh gosh, I have a level right now. Uh... What do I want to do? Melee damage? Let's do another melee. It's going to take like 275%, right? With our backpack buff? Yeah, and what, what is it without the backpack? 220. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, but uh, Manic Armor Saddle. We're going to have to make a Manic Armor Saddle. Don't know what we need for it, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. I'm just kind of tending it, tending to it right now. Do we need to give it another uh, Tame Helper? Yes, because the Tame Helper has right now ran out. So I think all we need to do is just give it two Tame Helpers and boom, we've got it, you guys. Noise. 98.8% tame effectiveness, you guys. Was it at, uh, plus 235 levels? This thing is going to be over level 700, you guys, after ev after everything's said and done. Do we have to give it another one? I think we do. Yeah, man, whatever. We gave it one, or, uh, we gave it two, we can give it a third. Doesn't matter, we still have two left in our inventory. But this should be tamed. Should. Uh, the food is still dropping. It's, it's dropped significantly. Why is it, like, not eating? It's 400 points below the, uh, threshold there, or whatever. Uh, did it just... Did it eat again right there? I don't know if... Oh, yeah, okay, it's eating again. Okay, that's good. Whew. We've got it tamed, you guys. We've got it tamed. I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm getting ahead of myself or anything like that. But, uh, look at this. Look, look at this food. 16... Th uh, 3... Oh, yep, yeah, boom, there you go. Manning armor tamed, level 709, just like I said. Over level 700 after everything's like it's said and done. Let me get the prime meat back just in case I need to tame anything, right? <laughs> but we got a manning armor. <sighs> what, what, what do you guys think? Oh gosh, more Manic Armors over there. What do you guys think? Manic Armor being our, uh, our our next tame. Do you guys think it'd be better if I got the... Uh, oh gosh, down there's the turkey. I need to make sure it doesn't go over there. Uh, is it not going to like glide to us? Why is he not gliding over here? He's just walking on the ground. He's walking on the ground towards us. He's not gliding. I, I want him to glide because I, I don't want him to get attacked by the heckin' ancient turkey and, and get stuck down there. But I'm going to have to make his heckin' saddle here in just a bit. I, I, I do want to bring him home. I don't. Level 709, 18,000 health. If we, if we, yeah, let's go home. Let's go make his saddle. And while we're back home, let's go grab an XP thing and give it to him, like, right off the bat. Just give him a level up, and then boom. Or, uh, give him an XP thing and give him, like, heckin' 10, 20 level ups or whatever that's going to give him, you know? There he is right there. Our base is, like, right over here, our new one. I'm going to have to check you guys' comments after I record this video. I have to check you guys' comments. Look at the top rated one. And, uh, oh, Mega Mythic is there in the background. And, of course, we're going to be naming it after, uh, whatever has the most likes. Anyways, level 709, uh, Manning Armor, I guess you're going to be staying here. Uh, yeah, I'll set you to passive, because I don't want you going anywhere. And I guess we'll go home real quick and make it saddle, but... Uh, I, I did have... Because the game crashed at the end of last episode, or whatever, just assuming it's last episode by now. <laughs> but because the game crashed, it didn't save my progress of building, like, the little, little, like, bunker up there. So I had to rebuild the bunker. I don't know if I had this, like, ceiling thing last time, uh, we left off or anything like that. But it does have the ceiling here, and I think we we're missing, like, one bit of ceiling like right there so i'm going to build a uh, place those down i guess i never got around to it yeah we have i have a ceiling like right there i guess i can place down right let's go up there real quick but uh, i think it looks great up here you guys really really cool we got the railings and all that stuff wait why did it look like there was a missing ceiling there uh oh it must be because i placed this weirdly right here you know there's like a yeah it's sticking out ever so slightly right here okay i was wondering like it feels I, I'm pretty sure I filled out the whole entire thing, but I guess not. But I guess we did, and it, that was just a strange placement I did right there, huh? <laughs> but there we go, this is what it looks like. Really, really cool. We got these rails here, so it's kind of like a castle or something like that. And of course, we got this little bunker inside here where we, we should be able to shoot any like hostile critters from inside of here. And of course, it'll be a lot more uh, resilient once we do upgrade this to stone. So that's going to be really cool here in the future. But for right now, it's just going to be made out of wood just because I'm like, that was the cheapest resource right now, you know? But anyways, let me just, uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm going to pause. I'm I'm going to pause the recording, head back home real quick, even though it'll probably take me like two minutes, but I'll, I'll save you guys a lot of time. Head back home real quick, and we can make the Manic Armor Saddle, grab some XP things, maybe load up on a few more of those uh, Tame Helpers, just because we we use three of them, so might as well have five in our inventory at all time, and uh, maybe do some other stuff if I think about it. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit, once we get back to the original base. Alright, guys, back. Let's go grab some... I guess some XP things real quick, just so I don't forget, because I'm pretty sure that's one of the things I'll forget. So, I said one. Do I want to grab two? Because we have 14. Now we have 12 after that. So, let's grab two. Sure, why not? Golly, look at that. Two, uh, 2,162 Apex hide right there, golly. Oh, and by the way, apparently one of you guys said, yeah, they did patch it where you do not, uh, like, pick up like toxic, uh, like megalodon loot and stuff like that. If like a an apex megalodon or a primal megalodon like kills it, it I guess you just don't pick it up anymore. So that kind of sucks. Speaking of pick up, uh, I didn't mention it just a second ago, but there's a gravestone right here. I picked up another one. Uh, I suppose we can check the the cooking pie. Is there anything special in there for me to make for uh for the 
extinction, or not extinction, or sheesh, <laughs> the fear of all thing. Uh, if there is, then I'm not seeing anything, because usually you can make, like, special costumes or something like that in these, uh, in the cooking pots, using, like, uh, random trash that you pick up and stuff, but I guess not this year, huh? Anyways, uh, let's make the Manic Armor saddle, should be able to unlock that thing, because I have so many I can anchor so... Manic Armor, ba-boom! Probably make that in, like, the, uh, smithy, right? So, Manic Armor... Or your inventory, okay, let's go to Manic Armor... Okay, never mind! Uh... Am I spelling it right? Hold on. Pretty sure I am. We just unlocked the Engram. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Mana Gar. Yeah, there it is right there. Uh, 150 kite, carrot slash kite, and 185 fiber. 350 hide. We should have all that. Maybe not the carrot slash kite. I don't know. But there's also this right here that it's like blacked out. Learn on extinction. Uh, why do we not have that? I'm like, obviously, my character, the, the heck an ancient alien, hasn't been to extinction. That was Danny DeVito. So, obviously, I, I haven't unlocked it here, but uh, that kind of sucks. I just unlocked the Engram right there. Did that even cost anything? Hold on. Uh, manager. <laughs> I literally just typed manager. Jeez. But there's the Manic Arm. I just unlocked the Engram. I don't know why there's two Engrams there. Uh, I might have to do what I did back in Extinction, where I just, uh, let me look this up, where I just, I spawn in the, uh, the blueprint, because I just unlocked the Engram right there, and I don't know. I'm like, if... It looks like it's probably eight Engram. Hold on. What about like a snow owl? Okay, well that one, this like weird second one requires zero Engram points. But I assume the regular one, let me look it up. Yeah, the regular uh, Manic Armor Saddle is eight Engram points. So I've got 2,300 Engram points right now, you guys. For some strange reason, oh, I think it's because I think Valgaro doesn't have Manic Armors naturally, right? Because that's an extinction exclusive critter. They didn't have uh, Manning Armors naturally because of my mods I have installed. Maybe that's why they spawn in now? If that's the case, that explains why I'm not able to unlock the saddle here. But because I have the mods installed, they're spawning in, so I have no way to get the saddle unless I spawn it in. So I'm going to have to do this. Which number is it? The first or the second zero? I'm going to do second. Hey, there we go. Okay, we actually got the blueprint right there. Now, is it actually smithy or do I have to do somewhere else? Oh, yep, 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 crafted at the smithy. Okay, well, let's see if we can actually make that thing. So, there you go. We basically unlocked it right there. We're just using a blueprint. Oh, yeah, and by the way, yeah. Didn't you guys say, or at least, like, a handful of you guys said, that crafting skill affects blueprint, not uh, Engrams. So, I wonder if we're going to get, like, a ramshackle version of this thing. Let's see. Uh, no, we got a regular one with uh, 25 R. Well, either way, not that big of a deal. We should be able to... I think, again, the chitin. We had enough chitin to make that. I doubt we have enough chitin to improve it. Let's go see how many chitin we're going to need for this. Uh, Karen slash chitin. 250. 252 fiber. We have literal that We have literal thousands in our inventory, right? Yeah, look at that. 4,700. So I've, I've got enough fiber, no problem. 305 hide. We've got 600 in our inventory. Boom. There you go. All I need is that 250 uh, Karen or, uh, yeah, Karen slash chitin. Do we have that, though? I might as well put the, uh, put a bunch of hide up over here just because why not? Do we even have a uh, Karen slash Kitan over here? I'm like, I'm not seeing any Karen, but we only have 58 Kitan, so... Yeah, we don't have enough. Man. Well, that sucks. We can't improve the saddle right off the bat, but we we do still have the saddle in general, so that's good to know. So we, we can ride that Manic Armor right off the bat. Oh, well, then again, yeah, I picked up some, uh... I picked up this Ramshackle Anklo saddle. I did say I wanted to keep it because I wanted to tame an Anklo in the future, but I don't want to... I don't want to grind it up. Is there anything here? Toxic Megalodon Saddle. Am I going to tame a Toxic Megalodon anytime soon, right? What, what do I need to craft that, though? Let, let me see. Toxic Megalodon Saddle. Does that tell me? 580 Toxic Hide. Mmm. That's not going to give me any, uh, Karen Slash Kite. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get rid of these rare saddles just to get a heck of Karen Slash Kite, right? I think I'd rather just kill, like, a billion jug bugs or, like, a Mantis or something like that, right? Just get all that, to, uh, just to improve it and stuff. Or, like, a, you know, some trikes and stuff, because they do drop Kite or, uh, Keratin. So, is that everything I wanted to get here? I got the, uh, I got the saddle, I got the experience things. Uh, oh, I guess, I guess we could get more of those, uh, XP, yeah, I did say I wanted to get more of those, or not XP things, but, uh, tame helpers. Because we used three of them, might as well get a few more of them, so, there we go, so we're backed up to five. Might as well, yeah, let's, let's keep ten. There we go, so we have ten in total right there. And what about those healing stews? Might as well, let's go to, like, fifty there. That sounds like a good number. Noise. Alright, so now we shouldn't have to worry about... Having like too few uh, tame helpers there, and we still have a few back home, so that's good. All right, well, let's head back to that new base. Go put the saddle on that new manic armor, and uh, oh yeah, whoa! Speaking of junk bugs, I just see yeah right there. Can I kill? How much? How many? How much am I going to get from this thing? Well, five hundred junk bug right there. Jeez, am I going to get a lot of chitin? Four chitin. Whoa! Slow down with that four chitin. Golly! What about up here? Is like a what is with all these junk? Why are they like? 
What's happening up here? I have no idea, but I'm gonna swoop in on that, Ada. Oh, I just killed a bunch of wisps and stuff. Uh, I have no idea what just happened right there. Everything just, like, glitched. A a thou I just killed a bunch more wisps. Now, what are those things? Did they drop anything? I just killed them easily with my heckin' spinning, uh, spiral attack. That does, like, what, double damage or something like that? Or triple? I forget. 1216. How much do we do normally? Yeah, double damage. So, what is with all these wisps right here? What I need to look into them, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try and line up perfectly. Aw, oh, man. Try and, uh, swoop into them. Oh man, I missed with that spiral attack. Come on. It's like black and white ones here. That's kind of weird. They're like weird. So that must be that weird rainbow I saw like on episode two or three or whatever, right? I saw like weird rainbow above water and I didn't know what it was. Yeah, they're doing like no damage to me. I'm like 100 damage here and there. Yeah, and then it's still 100 damage or something like that. But it's basically nothing. Let me see if I get... There we go. Another sweep right there. Just killed a bunch of them. Oh gosh, look at that. There's like... There's like five or six of them right there. What? There we go. Another 1200. Just killed three more right there. Level 812, level 500 something. Am I even picking anything up right here? Should I lure them above ground? That way, if they die, then maybe they'll drop like a saddle, or uh, not, jeez, not a saddle, but a, uh, a satchel slash backpack that has loot inside of it, maybe? Am I picking up loot? I don't think I am, but I'm getting nine level ups right now. Don't mind if I can do. Let me get some more melee damage, 3,000 right there. Uh, let's do some more health, or let's do health. There you go, up to 34,000 health right there, you guys, holy heck. And some more melee damage right there. How much? 1,500 damage right there. Noise. Another 1,500 right there. And let's do another 1,500. Jeez, just killed three wisps. Any more of them left over? I think just this one right here, and that's going to be it, you guys. I can't even see, like, uh, what level is that thing? Or uh, how much health and stuff do they have? Uh, they're basically, like, 1,000 each. Pugnacia Dino Guide. I need to figure out how to... But I guess I have to look at that Pugnacia Dino, like, guide book that it, like, spawned me in with to find out, like, what these wisps are and how to tame them and whatever else. So that kind of sucks, but we just killed a bunch right there. We got some level ups, which is awesome. Uh, three more level ups. Let's do some more. Let's go up to like, like a 40. Literally, I just said almost 40,000 health, and we actually do hit 40 right there. Jeez, nice. All right, man, this tyranno has got some fantastic stats, you guys, and I'm sure that Manning Armor has fantastic stats as well. Would have been really good if we got like a level 700 or 800 heckin' Manning Armor, but level 400 baseline uh, before taming, but oh gosh. Oh, yeah, it's a zombie. Uh, yeah, zombie. We've seen that earlier, I think, right? Uh, nothing too special there, but it should... I'm pretty sure... Remember, there were no oceans in Ark Extinction. But I'm pretty sure... Aren't they supposed to be, like, good swimmers? They're not technically flyers, they're more gliders, so they can go into water, right? Oh, gosh! Speaking of water, yeah, there's so many I could fish in that water. It's lagging out my game, hardcore. But there's my man Garm right there, along with, like, an extremely vibrant magenta trike. Level 112. I guess that could be our first kill, you guys. Level 709 man Garm. Let's look at his baseline stats, by the way. 100 carry weight. 900 pounds right off the bat. Yeah, not too bit, uh, not too bad there, honestly. Could be better for a heckin' level 700, right? 960 uh, melee damage at 113 baseline, which is the best, so that's awesome. 106 baseline for health, which is good. Might want to get that up, honestly. Maybe get to, like, 25,000 or something like that, but let's give it the XP thing. So we have two. It has 16 level ups. It had, like, one or two level ups just a second ago, so it got, like, 15 or so level ups right there. Noise. Let's get to, like, 25. Oh, got it almost immediately. All right, let's do some more melee damage, because that is the best that it has. So might as well get it, uh, and let's do another, uh, there we go, another potion right there. And because this thing does use uh, a lot of stamina for, like, its attacks and, and winter breath and all that kind of stuff, uh, let's do another health there. Let's do another melee damage. There you go, noise. Really good stats. 26, almost 27,000 health, 4,000 stamina, 900 pounds carry weight. Not too big of a deal, especially because, like, we've got so much good stuff in our inventory right now, honestly. It doesn't even matter. And then almost 1,500% melee damage. Really good. Movement speed's not too good. Usually these things are a little bit slower. But if I'm if I'm trying to get somewhere super, super fast... Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Apex Allosaurus. Level 840. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Apex Allosaurus. Level 840. Uh-oh. Are we going to have to use our heckin' mana armor to defend already? Maybe. Let me let me heal him up to his new health. Not even... No, it doesn't like instantly, though. Uh, yeah, 5% health. Not too bad. If I force feed him, is that... I think it does heal him up a little bit. Tiny little bit faster. But let's, let's give him the saddle. And then we might have to... Maybe we could try and lure that apex I can, uh... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. Maybe lo oh, 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 oh! Lure it into... Let's get on our Tyrant on. It'll be a little bit easier to maneuver with the Tyrant on. And we have a little bit more health, right? Let's try and lure it into the heckin' thing of fish. The heckin' lag lake over there, right? Oh, there it is right there. Let's see. Can I get it? Oh, gosh. We're lagging. Is it going to, is it going to come over here? Does it care? 
I don't want to get too close to it. And of course, all I have is melee damage with this guy. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to go into the heckin' water with my Manny Garmin and get rid of the fishy guys, because I cannot. <laughs> this, is un this is literally unplayable right now. Such low frame. There we go. A little bit better right there. Okay. Whew, let's see if we can get rid of the heckin' fish over there. Maybe we'll be... Oh, yeah. Maybe we can lure him. Like, here's the Manny Garmin, by the way. It can jump in the air, and because we have really good stamina now, like, so many stamina upgrades, it's able to jump in the air multiple times and swoop down like that, which is really cool. But I do want to see... Can I use my Ice Breath? Which is this, by the way. Can I hit, hit that apex from here? I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. Let me see. Can I go into water, though? Oh my gosh, this is so I can lag you right now. Oh god, the game's gonna... Oh my gosh. Even the sound is lagging. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be testing this in an area with like an, uh, uh, an apex, like, right heck in there. Let's go, to a, let's go to a different lake if I, have, if I even can, go in, like, one second per frame. Not frame per second, but one second until I get a frame. <laughs> Oh, 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 there you go. Doing a little bit better right now. I don't know where I am, though. Uh, some random trikes right there. Let's kill them. Look at that DPS right there, you guys. Look at that. Look at all... Look, I'm like, they're all single digits right there. There's some double digits right there. Look at all those double digits. And we just killed that Baryonyx. What about that trike level 308? Uh, I don't know. Something's kill... Oh, gosh. That one right there. Let's kill that one. Uh... It's, 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 it's attacking very, very, very frequently, but it's all single digits. Which isn't really that good, but it might be because of the trike's armor, maybe? I don't know. What about this guy, though? He's, got, he's taking, like, five damage there. Like, a billion fives and a few forties there. Like, look at, look at his health. Just, look at all that green! Look at all those green numbers right there. It's like a tra it's a literal trail of green numbers. And then melee, straight melee. Almost 800 damage per hit. That's pretty heckin' good right there. We got a little bit of carrot right there. Keratin right there. Oh, gosh. Getting the, uh, heckin' laggy lake over here now. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill some fish, though. Can we even go into the water? I think you can, can't you? You can! Nice! Okay. Now, because, yeah, uh, Extinction did not have lakes. I don't know if I ever even myth-busted if these guys can go into water without getting automatically dismounted, but I guess because they're not technically flyers, they're technically gliders. I guess the... Uh, was that? Alpha defense. Mmm. We might be able to freeze it. Maybe. Let's try it. It's frozen, maybe? Are we going to kill it? I don't know. We're doing a bunch of double-digit damage to it with this, uh... Look at his health on the left. It's actually dropping pretty heckin' fast there, you guys. Our stamina is doing so well right now. Now, it can, I think, instead of freezing things, it can also uh, slow things down, maybe? I can't even see it right now. There it is right there. Does it actually not care? Are we actually about to kill an alpha defense unit right now? Like, it's about to turn to dark time. I can't really see too well. It's really dark, and of course, a giant, like, mist of just, like, frozen fog in front of us as well. Can't really see. We'll kill that Diplodius level 700 right there, noise. I am taking a little bit of damage from something back there. And the defense unit just died. Let's go harvest this dead body with, uh, with a pick. Oh god, am I stuck? <gasps> Let's go harvest the dead body. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I just got a bunch of stuff right there, you guys. What, what is this? I don't know what the- Oh my gosh, I'll look at that a little bit later. What are those mammoths? What is this? Oh, okay, it is just a mammoth. Okay, not that big of a deal. Oh god, a heckin' air thing. Gas bag. <laughs> air th Oh gosh! Megapithecus. 2.9 million health. Wait, what? Oh wait, Gigantipithecus. Yeah, that's a Gigantipithecus minion. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Heckin' boss is all over the place over here. You kidding me? All right, let's just jump up in the air. Now that we just kill that defense unit with like 50,000 health. I, I don't know, we might be able to kill that in Apex, I can think. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't, do I wanna, do I wanna try it? Maybe, maybe after I, how are we doing like Keratin slash Kitan? How are we doing? Keratin, we've got 19 right there. We got three more on there. What about Kitan? Uh, none on us right now, so that sucks. But three more levels for this guy. He really needs a heck and heal up faster. Like, oh my God, look at all this fish meat we have right here too. Holy heck. Uh, but we, we've got to eat the fish super duper fast, try and heal up super duper fast. That's one thing that sucks, though, is that it takes forever to heal up. So that... Ah, I guess if we make carnivore... Do, can, do we have carnivore baby food? Because uh, that's carnivore food. What is this? Weightless food is great for baby carnivores. Mainly... Seems like it's basically the same thing. What if I do? What if I make that? It looks very strange and cartoony. Oh, I have four levels for myself. Uh, let's do some more melee damage. There we go. Now we're up to 300% right there. Nice. Alright, let's get some carnivore food. Wait, where do we make this? Does it say? Where, where do I make the carnivore food? Alright guys, I, I looked into that, that carnivore thing. I couldn't find any information about it. I don't even know what mod it's from, so... <laughs> I don't even know where to craft it or what it really does besides, you know, being food for babies and stuff. Or baby carnivores, that is. Anyways, it's daytime now. I guess I left my game running in the background. Now it's like in morning or noon or something like that. I don't know where the, uh... Did it die? Or to despawn or something like that. I don't know. But there's a spino over there. Let's see what happens if I do this. If 
I just wintry breath into the water. Ah, oh, well, these things have so much. It's probably better if I just melee into there, you know? Let me see if I can melee into this. Oh, gosh. Let me try it. Oh, my gosh. I'm meleeing right now. Killing some stuff. But am I going to be able to kill everything here? Maybe. If I can get everything aggroed on me and just come to me, it'll be, it'll be a billion times. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. I'm in the middle. I am in the middle of the heckin' lake right now. The lag lake. And I'm doing damage, apparently. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm killing coelacanths hard here, you guys. I'm swooping in on them, too. Hardcore. I can't even really even control what I'm doing right now. But yeah, whenever you swoop in, you do do extra damage. So, let's see. Oh, God. Look at the frame rate right now. Holy heck. Oh, yeah. By the way, I said it's a slow-mo 3, so uh, hopefully things went a little bit fast. But swooping in right there, I don't know if that helps. Swimming into these guys. I can't do damage to them, unfortunately. They're not melee in water? I guess I can't melee in water, then, if that's the case, but... Well, my ice breath is doing fantastic damage to these fish in general, so... Maybe I'll just stand over here and just... Like, aimlessly aim into this lake here and just kill as many fish as possible. Like, I've, I've, I'm sitting down right now. Not really even moving. I'm gonna hopefully use as little stamina as possible and just spam into the second lake and kill as many fish as possible, you guys. So I guess that's something that sucks. Is that I cannot melee in the heckin' water, so that sucks. But, uh, I guess maybe we could tame a Utah ants for that or something like that, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I'm killing a lot of fish regardless. Like, oh my gosh. Look at all look at all those double digits I'm doing right there. Look, look at that health bar that just went down super fast. I could probably melee these guys, honestly. They're, they're starting to group up, like, right here. Can I... Oh, can I hit these? I am. Look at all those 259s. Oh my gosh, I'm killing so many fish. Oh, get back here, trash. What is that thing? Oh, it's that eel thing. Yes. Oh, no, it's a leech. It's a leech. Okay. Oh, it was like a prodigy leech or whatever there. Oh, God. I'm... Oh, man. I lost so much heckin' health right there. Everything just swarmed me or something. Sheesh. All right. Let's do some more... Uh, let's do some more melee damage, because why not? There you go. Let's do some heckin' health healing bruise right there. Hopefully, you want to heal up a little bit faster. Now we're up to 14,000 health there, so... Definitely getting some of the frame rate back, back here, so that's great. But, uh... Let's see if we can just get out of the water. There we go. Oh, there's a red splat drop down there. I didn't even see that. Let's go down there. Swoop in on that trash, Ada. Let's see. What's inside? Uh, oh, man. Uh, long neck rifle there. Ooh, noise. That's good, because I, I needed to grab that thing in the, uh, anyway, so that's good. It's going to save me a little bit of time. Now, where is this megabithic I'm hearing? There it is over there. 2 million health or something? Yeah, 2.9 million. So, yeah, just, just forget about that thing. I'm not even going to try and, like, battle it or even try and tame it. I need to boss tribute for that. Golly. <laughs> but uh, it seems like we fixed some of the frame rate problem over here. We just kind of aggro and let all the fish kind of come to us. We might be able to melee them down and stuff. Like, look at look at all the fish going to that one baryonyx right there in the water, you guys. If I can do the same thing, let all the coelacanths, let all the saber tooth salmons just come, like, right here. And then I melee them down like we just did all the way over there. Then we should have uh, this lag problem hopefully fixed. So, <laughs> I'm like, it'd be better if I had, like, a T-Rex or something like that, which we may tame here in the future. We've seen them a few times here and there. There you go, let's melee these guys down. I can seal against level, like, billion level, billion I can seal against. Jeez. But I'm getting so much XP from killing these guys, too. Like, look at that. Another level up right there. Level 741. Really nice. And it's letting go of some of the lag that's in this lake. Nice. But yeah, for right now, we, we've already made a pretty significant dent in the, uh, the frame rate problem. We're back up to, like, 26 right now, where usually we'd be down to, like, one second per frame, you know? <laughs> Basically, like, uh, negative, like, 30 FPS or whatever, right? So, I think I'm just gonna pause the recording continue like a little bit of progress here of, of just killing like billions of heckin fish and then uh seeing if i'll actually be able to get rid of like oh look at that we poop noise uh, see if we'll be able to actually fix this this huge lag problem here and then maybe even uh oh yeah let's kill some four. oh we're almost doing a thousand dollars uh a thousand dollars what a thousand damage straight melee right there so that's great oh yeah look at that look at all these fish over here you get into this part and yeah the frame rate drops another 10 fps sheesh but uh, let's see if we can lure them all to me by just doing this, and maybe they're all going to get, like, aggro. Oh, yeah, look at them. Look at them getting magnified over here. Or, uh, not magnified, but, uh, ma like, magnet, like, you know, getting attracted. They're all just coming to this one specific location. And then let's melee them all down. Look at the screen! It's being spammed! It's being spammed! Of course, I'm getting hit oh, a ton as well. My health is draining right now, you guys. Might want to back out temporarily. Temporarily, yeah, look at that. We lost a pretty good amount of health right there, you guys. Let's do some more melee damage. Up to 2,000. Let's get a little bit more health. Up to 30,000. Of course, I'm going to need to spam this food over here to try and heal up a little bit faster. Just because uh, his, his natural health region is pretty heckin' trash, just to be heckin' honest. 
Like, holy egg. <laughs> Excuse my language. But uh, I, I guess I'll continue to, like, spam the freeze into here. Catch these guys' attention, get them aggroed on me, and then melee them down whenever I have enough health to really, uh... Oh, gosh. We're killing so many of them right now. I, my eye is on the top right corner. I might even edit the video and show the health on top left as a little bit bigger for you guys. Seems like we're not even taking any hits right now. Seems like we're in a really good position where we're able to damage them and they're not damaging us. Look at the frame rate shoot up! Well, I'll, you guys can't see it. I don't have the heckin' frame rate thing on camera. Or at least I did that one random episode accidentally. <laughs> I don't know if you guys actually noticed. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, we're up to, we were up to 40 FPS right there, you guys. Oh gosh! I accidentally just swooped in there right there. Holy, oh my gosh. Holy heck, let's get out of here. Whew, there you go, swooped out. Let's get back to that location. But yeah, let me just pause and continue doing this off camera just because I don't want to have to spend a billion years <laughs> doing this exact same thing on camera. But uh, you guys get the idea. We've done a pretty significant amount of progress over here getting our frame rate back. So I'm going to do the rest of it off camera and maybe even more over at that other lake over there. Maybe in this other lake that's below this waterfall. And, uh, you know, just try and kill as many things. <laughs> you know, get a bunch of heckin' XP level. Oh, look at that nine more level ups right there. Jeez. What should I do? Uh, maybe more... St we haven't really run into any problems with stamina. Yeah, carry weight doesn't really do too much. Might want to just continue going melee damage and health. Let's do some more health. Up to 40,000 health almost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well, let me just pause the recording. Continue killing a billion fish. And, uh, let's see what level we are right now. Level 759. What level are we going to... Oh gosh, four levels for myself. Eh, let's do all health. Up to 340. Nice. What level do you guys think I'm going to be whenever I come back? Or, uh, what level do you think my manic armor is going to be? We're at level 759 right now. Are we going to hit level 800 when I come back? Maybe. <laughs> like, we're killing so many fish so quickly. Getting so much XP and so many level ups. I wouldn't be too surprised if I come back and I'm like level 809 or something like that, right? So, I'm going to pause the recording, kill a trillion fish, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and oh my gosh, the game runs so much better in specific locations. I've killed, of course over here at my old base, it ran pretty well already, but uh, when we went over here, it, it really started to die down. I don't know why, or I didn't know why, and apparently it was because there were like a trillion coelacants that were spawned in over here. So now we're over here again, and everything is working just fine over here, and uh, the main thing I had to do was... Well, I, I, I went into my game.ini files, and I now blocked the spawning of coelacants and pugnacia coelacants and pugnacia saber juice uh, salmons. So now they should never spawn again in this, in like ever, unless I disable that. So they should never ever spawn again, and I can overpopulate my map to the point where it literally lags down to like like seconds per frame as I like to call it because <laughs> that's basically what it is and then after I did that I had to do the uh, destroy all wild dinos thing just to help like kind of make it taken into effect because I guess that 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 setting doesn't work unless you do the destroy all wild dinos. I guess any coelacants any uh, pugnacious coelacants any pugnacious saber juice salmons that were already in the world before I made that uh, little change in the file those would still be in the world so I had to do the destroy all wild dinos thing and that basically you know kills every dino that isn't tame to me so uh, we did have a reset of dinos but it seems like they're starting to spawn back in and you know the same dinos as before so we have you know bra brachios branos trikes and all that kind of stuff spawned back in over here and if we go back this way oh yeah and, and unfortunately slash fortunately however you want to look at it the uh the, the ancient turkey that spawned in over here no longer exists or well not the specific one, but it looks like another one has spawned in its place right there. As you can see, oh wait, I don't have the spyglass enabled, but you can see right there is an ancient turkey, so... <laughs> looks like the one that killed us, what, twice? Is no longer, like, hidden underwater over here, so... Uh, I guess we don't have that little, little sentimental value of that little fella, but... I guess he's gone forever, but thankfully... Thankfully, we shouldn't have to run into any, uh, like, hardcore frame rate droppage from just heckin' mass amounts of fish all over the place. And I guess if that ever happens again with, like, another specific type of critter, like if there are, like, a trillion megalodons or something like that, then we can just block megalodons from ever spawning in ever again and stuff like that. What in the world is that? Is that a hippo? That's a straight-up hippo. Uh, what? What in the world is that doing over here? There's like a Caprasuchus attacking me. As if it's going to actually do any real damage to me, golly. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I think before I paused, I was like, yeah, guess how many, guess, guess what level my mana armor is going to be whenever we come back. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we hit the level cap with this guy, but uh, we hit level 782. I think we're level like 740 something, maybe 750 something, whenever we last left off, and now we're at 782, and I didn't think we'd hit the level cap that fast. 
but I guess we did because I can't get any more level ups. Like, I'm at 150,000 XP and there's no, like, progress bar there for the next level up. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is and there's nothing I can do about it, right? So, I'm like, this guy was level 700, I think it was just, like, 709 or something with like that baseline. So maxing out 782, that's a bit soon, isn't it? I don't know why. Anyways, yeah, yeah, like, look at this. I'm flying over here, I'm flying over lakes, I'm flying over bodies of water in general where, you know, those fish would spawn normally, and it's, it's running just fine. Here's that, uh, that lake that had a hardcore amount of fish. Here's that lake, or that pond that we were at, like, before I paused. And there's a spino over there that's not immediately getting wrecked and ransacked. And, uh, oh man, there's even, <gasps> look at this huge herd of sheep! I need to heckin' wrangle those sheep up and heckin' tame them, you guys. I guess one extremely minor downside. Oh, and by the way, yeah, Mega, Mega Piranhas still spawn over here. So those are, uh... Oh, what about those? Are those regular saber two Salmons? What are those things? I have no idea what they are. Trilobites? I don't think those were what I saw right there, but I guess Trilobites are still there, but what are these things? Mega Piranhas? Yeah, Mega Piranhas, yeah, Mega Piranhas are still here. But, uh, Pugnacious saber two Salmons and Pugnacia, coelacanths are now gone, as well as regular coelacanths. Because they heckin', that's what lagged up my, uh, the island over there, is regular coelacanths, surprisingly. But what about this thing? What is this thing? Is that, oh, that's, that's gotta be a Mega Piranha right there, too. Oh yeah, then yeah, the ancient turkey that's over here despawned. I guess we can see if another one spawned in his place. Uh, not seeing one right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if we can't- Oh gosh! Zombie Piranha! Wait, this has a- Hold on. Level 812, but it has 159,000 health. Uh, wait, fast learner? What in the world is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. That's an unusually... I guess that's just a normally sized titanosaur. Completely maxed out level 840. Can we kill this zombie Brano down here, you guys? I feel like we might be able to. 150,000 health or so. What is that thing that's doing that weird, uh... Tumultuous Carno? Is that what that's what's doing the lightning effect we've been seeing? Tumultuous, like... Like, class critters. Let's see. Let's see if we can kill this zombie Brana right here, you guys. And it looks like it's even doing meteor strikes to stuff. Whoa! How much health did that thing have? I don't know, but speaking of health, we're doing an insane amount of health that is, or, uh, like, damage to health to this zombie Brana right now, you guys. We're, we're melting away its health hardcore. Look at that. It had, like, 159,000 health. It was, oh gosh, we're actually, uh, taking some damage from probably that tumultuous Carno. We need to watch out for that, you guys. Let's get on this cliff. Very advent. Oh, whoa, whoa. We're still taking some damage from the zombie Brano, it seems. Let's see, can we, uh, can we ice breath from up here? And, well, we can, but we can't hit him, unfortunately. So we could, uh, regen a little. Oh, is he dead? I don't think he's... He might be dead. Oh, yeah, he is dead. What killed him? The Diplodocus? That tumultuous, whatever, Carno? Maybe, oh gosh, there it is right there. There's the tumultuous Carno, right? Man, that thing blended in hardcore. We took insane damage right there. Where is it? I might have to build that metal spike wall over here like I originally talked about. I might have to build that here anyways. Even though there's no ancient turkey over here, might want to just kind of protect us from that tumultuous carno. I am not seeing it right now, you guys. Where is it? Is it gone? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> it must be gone, at least for now. And maybe it went to another dimension. What is that? An elephant? A regular elephant? We saw a hippo earlier and now an elephant that's all like magenta pink. Uh, okay. I'm like, that's kind of interesting that we're getting like modern era dinosaurs or critters. <laughs> Call it an elephant and a dinosaur. Jeez. But yeah, that's awesome. Now, now we don't have to worry about hardcore lag. Now we can just play the game normally. And I'm glad that I found out that yeah, you can just straight up block dinos or else I'd have to like spam the destroy specific critter command over and over again whenever I, I got into an area like completely full. Oh, look at that. Uh, Starker right there. Completely full of like coelacanths and stuff like that. I have to spam that command, but thankfully I don't have to because it looks like they're just not going to spawn in like ever again. So that's awesome. Looks like we finally solved that problem, you guys. Nice.